What's happening, everybody? Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about the different types of keyboard switches. This is for anyone that's new to PC gaming or PC keyboards in general. Hopefully this will help you make some decisions on what you want to get in the future. The first one we're going to talk about is a membrane keyboard. You can see here there's a rubber silicone membrane on the back. And this little raised rubber part is what actually depresses the button when you push the key. These little metal things are just for a clicky tactile feel and sound. But on these, it actually has nothing to do with the mechanics of the actual keyboard. Here you can see the underside of the key that's compatible with these. And keep in mind that membrane keyboard keycaps are not gonna be compatible with other boards. They might work for some other membrane keyboards, but most are gonna be specific to that keyboard. Next, we're gonna talk about optical switches, which I would consider to be the mid-range option. Here you can see on either side, there's two lights and those get interrupted when you push the switch down, which I'll show you right here. If you look at what's the top of the switch right now, it's upside down, but you'll see a little bar lowers when you press it. And this is what interrupts that light beam. These are popular with a lot of gamers because they register keystrokes extremely quick. And here we've got your standard mechanical board. This particular one is hot swappable. You can see those two little sockets on the bottom left and left side there. This makes it so that you can change the switches on the keyboard without having to do any soldering or anything like that. They simply pull out with a switch puller, you push in a new one, you're good to go. These are popular because there's a plethora of aftermarket options as far as switches go. Whether you want linear, tactile, clicky, etc. Here's the actual switch. You can see these two little metal pegs on the bottom. Those are what fit into the hot swap sockets. And then you'll also notice a piece of metal inside the switch there. And on mechanical switches, that's both what registers the keystroke and provides that clicky noise that everybody loves. When you press down the blue stem portion, that interacts with it. There's all different sorts of tactile feedback, loudness, spring rates, and that sort of thing, but we'll save that for another video. And here is just a quick look at the bottom of a keycap. Um, this profile here with the plus symbol is known as a Cherry MX style. And that's probably the most widely available and widely known style of switch. Uh, these keycaps are interchangeable with any other switches that do have this profile. So there's a lot of customization options as far as the aftermarket goes. This is by far the most popular switch style. You can see that window at the top of the actual switch on the left. That's for the RGB to shine through. Some have a window that goes all the way through. Some have just like a plastic plate there. That doesn't make a whole lot of difference. There's also tons of different actual switch styles available, which we'll also cover in another video as well. As far as keycaps go, there's two main materials, ABS and PBT. PBT is the better of the two. ABS tend to get a shiny, smooth surface feel and look once you've used them a lot. PBT generally last a whole lot longer and they also sound better, which I'll show you the difference here. The black keycap is ABS, the white keycap is PBT, so you can hear the obvious sound difference just changing keycap materials can make. So there you have it. Consider yourself learned in the basics of keyboards. Uh, if you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, drop some comments down there. It really helps me out. Greatly appreciate it. See y'all next time. Have a good one. Goodbye.